ओके सो लेट्स गेट नथिंग गो इज लुक ऑन योर एंड्रॉइड डिवाइस रनिंग अ कस्टम रूम स्पेशली एंड्रॉइड फोर्टीन एंड येस इट लुक्स सो गुड यू कैन ऑल्सो गेट दिस काइंड ऑफ लुक ऑन योर एंड्रॉइड फोर्टीन रनिंग कस्टम रूम बेसिकली और यू कैन से फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस केस आई एम यूजिंग लीने जो इज द गुड थिंग इज यू कैन चेंज द होल यू आई इट्स नाउ क्वाइट गुड क्वाइट गुड इनफ एज कम्पेयर टू ऑल द प्रीवियस अपडेट्स इट इज नॉट हैविंग एनी मेजर इशूज मेजर बर्ग्स सो फार these are the widgets available on my home screen and you can change them very easily you have a lot of options available in the terms of widgets and everything is already included for example if i hold here click on widgets a lot of options are available here for you this is a single module which also brings you nothing with launcher which brings you nothing with widgets it also brings you some another amazing options which i will talk about later on in the, later on in this video so make sure to watch this video till the end As you can see, we have a lot of widgets available here, and most likely all these widgets should work on your run if on your device running custom room. Most likely, I don't think so. You might get any major bugs here and there. We have almost twenty one widgets available. All these widgets should work perfectly on your device too. Let's move on to some other things. For example, clicking on the home settings, you will find these options where you have the option for hiding the app icons too. So yes, in case you are looking forward. to hide the app icons or hiding the apps on your device it's possible with this launcher very easily you just have to choose any of these apps you want to hide and after choosing them what you need to do is nothing just go back and all the icons all the apps which you have enabled there will be hidden from your device as you can see and this looks so good and you don't need to reboot your device you don't need to restart system you need nothing else Moving on to some customization options. Here we have few of the things. You can customize the home screen layout between four columns or five columns. I know if you are nothing of a user, you already know these kind of things. These things are quite common for you, but for the normal custom room user, these things are not new. Especially if you are using, if you are going to install nothing of a launcher for the first time as a Magisk module, the good thing is it brings you this nothing icon pack pre-installed. So you don't need to install it separately from the Google Play Store. It's already enabled here. You also have three options available for that. Other than else, it does Does not brings you anything else in these colors because I don't think so. These are working well at all, but these doesn't matter to be honest because you don't need them. You actually don't need them. The things you need are already available, are working fine. Here, if you have noticed, I've clicked on widgets option, but but we have this icon shape option available there, and you can change the icon shape by just one click. Make sure if you are using Magisk, then whenever you click on this widgets option, you will get the pop up of super user notification, basically the root permission which you can grant. But if you are using kernel SU, you have to grant the root permission manually. Other than else, everything is just similar here. As you can see, clicking on more will simply redirect to you to Telegram. Nothing else. Everything else is just similar. In the previous update when the last time I made a video on this channel on nothing launcher was actually quite buggy the launcher was not working perfectly well at all the gestures were not working at all but in this case gestures are working fine the recent panel is actually not from nothing wise but at least gestures are working fine the animations are not that smooth but kind of okay i don't think so you might face any major issues here It also brings you the weather app pre-installed nothing was weather app so that's also good so that is why because these apps are already included so make sure whenever you uninstall this this module make sure to uninstall all the apps which are installed after installing this module so when you uninstall these apps and then if you uninstall the module things will be fine for you Everything else is just similar here but let's talk about one bug which is actually present in this case and I will recommend you not to try out that moving on to customization options you will see these wallpaper options like wallpaper studio is present here we have these colors option present I will not recommend you to use this thing because it is not working and in case if you try to enable it again and again it might give you some issues so simply stay away from it don't use it at all Other than else, everything is just quite simple and working fine. So these were the things I just wanted to let you know. I've installed it from Magisk. You can also use kernel SU. You can also use a patch, I guess. But yes, kernel SU or Magisk are actually preferred. Magisk is actually preferred because it will grant the root permissions automatically whenever needed. So, so this is it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Links are already available in the description. Thanks for watching.